How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a PS5 controller, also known as a DualSense controller, to play your PC games. You can use your controller wirelessly over Bluetooth or wired through the USB cable. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So we're going to want to begin by downloading and installing DS4 Windows. DS4 Windows is basically the program we're going to use to give our PS5 controller functionality on our PC. It basically tricks Windows into thinking that our PS5 controller, which isn't supported on Windows, is actually an Xbox 360 controller, which has full support on Windows. So I'll leave a link to download DS4 Windows in the description below. Just pretty much make sure you're downloading the one from Ryochan7 as this is the version of DS4 Windows, which is consistently updated. So once you're on this page, go ahead and click on the green download button to download DS4 Windows. That's going to bring you to this GitHub page and you're going to just want to make sure you're downloading the latest version. The latest version of DS4 Windows while I'm recording this video is version 3.0.18 and you're going to want to download the x64 zipped version of DS4 Windows. So go ahead and click on it to download and I'm going to save it on my desktop for easy access and once it's downloading we can just minimize out of our internet browser and now we have the zip file and we're going to want to extract it with our favorite extraction program. Mine is WinRAR so I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it and I'm going to click on extract here. And that's going to put this folder on our desktop. So if we open up this folder, you can see that it has all the files that we're going to need to run DS4 Windows. And just to keep things clean, I'm going to put this DS4 Windows folder into my program files. So I'm going to just click on this PC, I click on my C drive, program files, and I'm just going to drag this DS4 Windows folder into my program files. So it's just going to ask you for administrator permission to move this folder. So go ahead and click on continue. Realistically, you can put this folder wherever you want on your computer. But like I said, just to keep things clean, I'm just gonna leave it in my program files. So now we can go ahead and open up the DS4 Windows folder. And we're gonna want to go ahead and uh, open up the DS4 Windows EXE. Uh, before we do that, actually, we should right click on it and we should create a shortcut for this on our desktop. So come down here to send to and then click on desktop create shortcut. So that's just gonna create a shortcut for DS4 Windows on our desktop, just so we don't have to come into this folder every time we want to open DS4 Windows. We just have a simple shortcut on our desktop. So we can actually exit out of our program files here and we can open up ds4windows.exe. And now it's gonna ask us where do we want to save our user settings and controller profiles. Now this is completely up to you. You can choose to leave them in your program folder or your app data. I'm just gonna leave them in my program folder. And it's going to ask you if you want to allow DS4 Windows to make changes to this device, click yes. And now two windows from DS4 Windows is going to pop up. So let's take a look at this window, which says welcome to DS4 Windows. So it just has a few steps here uh, in order to configure DS4 Windows. So step one is to install the Vigum bus driver. So go ahead and click on it. And that's going to bring up this installer here. Go ahead and accept the license agreement and then click on install. So the install for the driver is pretty quick. So once it's finished installing, go ahead and click on finish. And now for step two, if you're on Windows 7, you're gonna need to install the Xbox 360 controller driver. However, if you're on Windows 8 and above, like I am, you don't actually need to do this because the Xbox 360 controller driver is included in the operating system. Uh, now we have two extra optional steps here, which I'm gonna skip in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on finish. And we have pretty much successfully installed DS4 Windows. We can now actually go ahead and connect our controller. So there's two ways we can connect our controller. We can either connect it through USB or through Bluetooth. So first I'll show you how to connect it with USB. So first we're actually going to want to make sure that DS4 Windows is started. So come down here to the bottom right hand corner of DS4 Windows and click on the start button. So to connect your controller with USB, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to want to take any USB type C cable and basically plug one in into your computer. Take the other end of your cable and plug it into the top of your controller. So your controller might uh, flash yellow for a little bit, but once your controller is picked up by DS4 Windows, it's going to light up blue. And you can see in DS4 Windows here, if I make it a little bit bigger, we have our DualSense controller. It's connected through USB and it has 75% battery. And that's pretty much all there is to it to connecting your controller through USB. If we want to connect our controller through Bluetooth, we're first going to want to head into Windows settings. So come down here to the start menu and then click on the gear here to open up Windows settings. Now click on devices and then add a Bluetooth or other device. 
and then click on Bluetooth. So to put our controller into pairing mode, you're going to want to press the PS button and the share button at the same time. And your controller is going to rapidly flash blue. And it should show up as wireless controller on your PC. So go ahead and click on it. And you can see our controller is ready to go. And Windows is setting up our wireless controller. So now we can click on done and we can exit out of Windows settings. And you can see DS4 Windows pretty much instantly recognize our controller. You can see that it's lighting up blue on the light bar. So you can see our DualSense controller in DS4 Windows, and it's connected through Bluetooth, and it has approximately 87% battery. And that's pretty much all there is to it to connecting your PS5 controller through Bluetooth and to USB. So there's a few things you can tweak if you would like. So you can click on the edit button here to further configure your controller. So if you want to remap any of the buttons on your controller to let's say a keyboard key, you can just click on a certain key and map it to any key on your keyboard. You can configure the sensitivity and dead zones of your uh, sticks on your controller. You can change the color of the light bar. So let's say I want the light bar to light up green. I can set blue to zero and set green to uh, all the way which is 255 and you can see now my controller is lit up green i hope you can see that on camera i can also change it to red and you can pretty much mess with the colors and make it wh whichever color you would like and you can also down here change the behavior of the light bar while the battery is discharging so if it gets to a certain percentage you can change the color and you can also change the behavior of the light bar while the controller is charging so furthermore, you can configure the touchpad, the gyroscope, and a few other settings of the controller. So once you're done configuring your controller, just click on apply and save. And one final setting I would recommend changing in DS4 Windows is coming over here to the settings tab and then make sure that the program runs at startup. So every time you want to use your controller, you don't have to open up DS4 Windows. It just automatically will start whenever your computer boots up. So simply once your computer boots up, you can just connect your controller with the USB cable or through Bluetooth and your controller will just work and you don't have to open up DS4 Windows. So let's go ahead and test out the controller in game. For this example, I'll be using Halo the Master Chief Collection. As you can see, I'm navigating the menu with the controller sticks. Let's go ahead and jump into a game of Firefight to further test out the controller. You can see that I'm moving around with the sticks. Everything seems to be working perfectly. The controls are very smooth and responsive, and there seems to be no input lag whatsoever. Young spree. Triple kill. If you want to disconnect your PS5 controller, you can just hold the PS button down for 7 to 10 seconds. And you can see my controller has turned off, the light bar of the controller has turned off. So that means my controller has turned off, and after a few seconds, it will be disconnected in DS4 Windows. And since our controller is already paired with Windows, if we want to just reconnect it, we can just press the PS button. And after a few seconds, it should connect to Bluetooth with our computer, and it should be recognized in DS4 Windows. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.